Okay, to get to the settings, you've got a couple ways. Um, if you hit the arrow on the bottom, you can get to various video effects, of which you can download more. If you click on one of them, you'll get a real-time preview. Turn that off. Next set of settings are under mode. Let's do a various uh, camera and video modes, which you can figure out through trial and error. And then there are settings at the top when you hit the gear. This allows you to shut sharing on or off, your flash on or off, vibration reduction, sound. Hit the little camera, you can choose small video clips for multimedia text messages. You do slow motion, fast motion, which is uh, a time lapse, and smooth motion, which is 1080p at 60 frames per second. Then you can hit the gear setting a second time to get to even more options. First column or tab is photo settings. The second one is video settings. This is where you can turn on 4K resolution. Um, 4K resolution does not allow you to use stabilization. Uh, and some generic settings such as location tagging. Um, and all of these. So that's it. You've got the settings there. You've got settings at the bottom of the screen with a little arrow. You've got the mode button. Doesn't work in 4K mode. But in anything other than 4K mode, you can hit the little camera, camera icon, and it allows you to record video both ways. Fancy. That way you can be in the video of whatever it is you're recording. Okay, so I decided to test the resolution of a Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Um, took a picture of my screen with a resolution test pattern on it. And the first picture you're going to see are 200% magnifications of cutouts of the pictures. So this is a 200% blow up of the 4K resolution. And then we scroll up to the top. This is 1080p. And when I went to two times slow motion, which was 60 frames a second, I expected it to be the same because the camera phone can do 1080 at 60 frames per second. So it should just record at this rate and play it back at half speed. But it doesn't. It records at 720 60 frames a second. And then when you jump to 120 frames per second, it scales it down to 360p. And then when you go to 240 frames a second, it's the same resolution, but played back at 15 frames per second instead of 30. So if you're going to be shooting at 1 half speed, you should actually shoot at 1080 60p and then edit it post-processing in a video editor to slow it down to 30 frames per second so that you maintain the 1080p resolution. Otherwise, if you do it in the camera, you're going to be sacrificing half of your resolution, and you're only going to be getting a 720p picture. Um, that means when you jump from 1080p at 1 half speed, or they call it 2x, to 4x, you're jumping from 1080 to 360 there's no point to have a 720 mode. Um, I hope that made sense. That's about all I wanted to share. See ya.